Baba says this. <clears throat> he says, your desires will become strong only if you take interest in them. If you don't take interest in them, they will die a natural death. Well, see, that's in the line, isn't it? He's saying if he's, he's intuiting that it's about desire, because she said it's desire that's selfish. So he says, only if you take interest in them, if you see them as the play of consciousness, they'll go away. A lot of times a good thought comes up and we get attached to it and then we, it breeds other thoughts. Or a bad thought comes up and we attack ourselves for having that thought. I shouldn't be thinking that. But if you don't react, it'll naturally go away. That's what he's saying. <clears throat> There's no end to the desires that arise in the mind, but only the desires that you become fascinated with will take a firm hold over you. Desire is something that always comes up, but it's whether you grab them. You like that? <clears throat> I'm reminded of a story of Eknat Maharaj. Uh, Ek Eknat Maharaj is uh, a great poet saint of Maharashtra, a great being. He said, a big industrialist saw Saint Eknat sitting calmly and cheerfully amidst great activity. There were programs and many people and they were giving feasts. And he saw here was this great saint sitting peacefully. So the industrialist said, what's your secret? And Eknat said, <clears throat> you are going to die within seven days. Now get out of here. <clears throat> That's called being polite. <laughs> the strange are the ways of the great beings. <clears throat> you never know what might happen. But he obviously is a teaching he had to do. Well, the industrial shock was so great that he couldn't even walk. And he had to be carried away in a tanga. It's no surprise that such a person should collapse the moment he hears he's going to die within a few days because he's never remembered Ram. He's never taken interest in anything spiritual. He hasn't earned steadfastness or courage. Hasn't done any practice, so his mind's quite weak. He's only been absorbed in earning more and more money, <clears throat> which he cannot take with him at his death. He called his relatives and friends and told them the news. Whenever he thought of his death, he began to groan. Alas, alas, I've earned so much money. I've shared it with my family and neighbors, and still I have so much, but I can't save myself from dying. Alas, alas. You'd think he'd go for a second opinion. Yeah. <laughs> go see another saint. Say, uh, hello, Maharaj. Uh, notice anything about me? <laughs> That's what I recommend. Anything um, funny about me? Anyway, he took it seriously. <clears throat> he couldn't stop crying and screaming. He lost his eyesight and his other senses deteriorated. The seventh day arrived. <laughs> it was 11 o'clock and there was only one hour left for him to live. He was quite calm and still. His mind had stopped wandering and had become completely focused on death. <clears throat> his mind was absorbed in the thought that only one hour was left for him to live and that the moment the clock struck noon, he would perish. At a quarter to twelve, he completely lost interest in everything. At that very moment, Eknat came in, chanting, Sri Ram, J Ram, J J Ram. <clears throat> the millionaire was very happy to see Eknat because to see a saint at the time of death is considered auspicious. Eknat said, how are you, sir? You appear to be quite calm. What is the condition of your mind? The industrialist said, how can my mind wander? <clears throat> Only a few minutes are left for me to live. So my mind is completely absorbed in thoughts of death. I am only remembering the Lord. Eknat said, it's the same with me. I remain perfectly calm, remembering the Lord constantly. I do not think of my wife, sons, brothers, or all other relations, or of achievements and talents that pertain only to the body. I always remain conscious of death. Who knows when it may strike? Whatever you've earned by way of devotion will go with you, but all your material possessions will be left behind. They cannot save you from death. Isn't that interesting? 
Whatever you've attained yogically will go with you, will help you in that transition, but all the other stuff disappears. <clears throat> if you make yourself keenly aware of the value of time, you will not let your mind re remain restless and distracted. So what's Baba saying? Baba's saying, <clears throat> you know, be earnest. Become mature. Think about the profundity of life. Remember what the Buddha said. The Buddha said, there's old age, disease, and death. Not because he was uh, negative and wanted to make everybody miserable, but it's because of these things that we think deeply. If it weren't for these things, we wouldn't think deeply at all. We'd just be going from pleasure to pleasure and TV show to TV show. But it's because of these things that we're forced to think, what is this about? And so on. And then, we, then when we do that, when we, then we investigate and we discover the self. We discover a deeper part of our nature. 